I just received the all metal angleizer template tool. So let's open the box and take a look. Inside the box, you get a nice felt bag, which will quickly become dirty around my shop. And then you have the angleizer itself. This has four different knobs, all aluminum. And it has the tool here that has both the centimeter side and the inch side on each of the four sides. The back side is uh, unmarked, but it does have these square nuts that slide in these tracks, and that's what allows you to cinch this thing down at any point. So you can find your angle, whatever it may be, lock it down, and then transfer it to a new surface and mark it out. To demonstrate the angleizer, I'm going to find the dimensions of this outlet box and I'm going to transfer that onto a piece of OSB for my wall paneling. So let me get some measurements real quick and we will make that transfer. So I need 37 and 3 quarters from the side and I need 47 and a quarter from the bottom. So from the side, I'm looking at 37 and 3 quarters. Now I'm just going to come up a little bit, doesn't matter how far, and mark that same value. And then down here I need uh, 47 and a quarter. So I'm just going to come here, put a little mark, move over like an inch or so, do it again. All right, now we can take the angleizer and get the exact dimensions of the box that needs to be cut out here. Now I know this example doesn't have any real angles to it. Um, this is just a, a quick example of how easy it is to operate this tool. So I'm going to find here that I need a box size. I'm going to lock down the known positions here and here. And then pull this up to the size I need. Right there. Lock that down, and that's the whole size that I need to make right there. Now that I have the angleizer set to the dimensions I need, I can lay it down on my previous measurements. Just trace that out, and now I have the box that I need to cut out. To cut this out, I'm going to use my jigsaw, but to get the holes in for the jigsaw, I need to drill two holes in the corner here. So. One on that corner, and one on that corner. Now that's not quite big enough, so I'm going to step it up here to something that will definitely be big enough. Okay, now I'm going to match up the walls here. Now due to some slight inconsistencies in my building, it's a little bit off on the top here, but as you can see, it has matched up quite well. Now I know that was a very simple use for the angleizer and did not uh, come close to capturing its full potential. So what if you had a piece of siding, this hardy board, that you wanted to put at the uh, the eave of your house and you weren't exactly sure how to make the cut from uh, the eave and then match up that middle piece there so the two pieces can come together that's where the angleizer would be very handy say you took the angleizer up to the eave of the roof and you put this edge on the side of the house and it measured, let's say, like that. So you'd lock down these four pieces, and that would be the angle that you would want to mark for your cut. So when you come back to your piece here, you would just line up this edge over here, and then you could mark that cut there, and that's 
what you would be using for your pitch. So definitely a very versatile tool. This all metal angleizer template tool, it seems to be well made. I have uh, cinched these down pretty tight and there seems to be no slipping or stripping of the hardware. I do appreciate that the numbers are in both uh, centimeters and in inches, so that's helpful. Now, I did notice that uh, the back surface is rather slick, so as I was marking things, it was uh, kind of sliding around. So definitely have to hold it tight whenever it is uh, on a surface that is slick. I have used tools like this that had indications on the back side of a slider. So for instance, if you look at this piece right here, uh, it's, just, it's just blank. There's no indication for allowing you to really hone in on where it is pointing at. So uh, perhaps a little bit more marking on the ends here would be nice, but as far as being able to use this for an angle tool, it is definitely handy. I intend on using this to install my hardy oh, trim boards on my building here, and I will definitely uh, be using it for those angles because knowing exactly what that roof pitch is will definitely help to uh, butt up both pieces of that trim. If you'd like to check out the all metal angleizer, I have a link to it in the description down below. And as always, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Do you want to pump creek water for livestock or a garden? Check out the Ram Pump. This amazing water pump requires no fuel and no electricity to work. Installation is quite simple. Just place the pump in the creek, run a drive pipe to bring water to the pump, and install a delivery pipe to take water uphill. To start the pump, simply push this check valve down and it will begin on its own, running seven days a week 365 days a year. To learn more about the Ram Pump, go to my website, landtohouse.com. I have four different size models for sale and lots of information. Now, if the Ram Pump is not your thing, check out my YouTube channel, Land to House, where I have lots more content for you to enjoy.